Hitting homophones, mastering pronunciation confusions. Hello learners, welcome back to another English language learning video. Today, we're diving into a very interesting, and often confusing, part of English. Homophones. That's right, we're tackling those pesky pairs or groups of words that sound alike but have different meanings. If you've ever struggled with two, two, and two, or there, there, and there, then this video is for you. To kick things off, let's first define what homophones are. Homophones are words that sound exactly the same when pronounced, but they have different meanings and often different spellings. Homophones can cause a lot of confusion when you're speaking and listening to English, but don't worry. We're here to help you master them. Now that we know what homophones are, let's look at some examples. I'll share a few commonly confused homophones, their meanings, and how to use them correctly. 1, 2, 2, 2. 2 refers to the number 2. 2 is a preposition used to indicate direction, place, or position. 2 means also or in addition. 2. There, there, there. There refers to a place or position. There is a possessive pronoun, meaning it belongs to them. There is a contraction of, they are. 3. Your, your, your is a possessive pronoun, meaning it belongs to you. Your is a contraction of, you are. Remember, the key to distinguishing these homophones lies in understanding their meanings and then practicing their usage in sentences. Alright, now that we've seen some examples, let's move on to some tips for improving your pronunciation of these homophones. 1. Context matters. The meaning of the sentence often gives you clues about which homophone to use. Make sure to pay attention to the context. 2. Practice with sentences. The best way to learn these homophones is to practice using them in sentences. Write or speak sentences using each homophone. 3. Listen and repeat. Listen to native English speakers use these words in their conversations. Repeat what they say to get comfortable with the pronunciation. And that's a wrap on our journey into homophones. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't shy away from using these words as often as you can. We hope this video has been helpful and clears up some of your homophone confusion. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.